Good afternoon. Could you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Kayanja Vincent Depo, Mayor in Tebe Municipal Council, Uganda, and also Chairman Lake Victoria Regional Local Authorities Association, which association has local governments surrounding the Lake Victoria Basin, covering Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania. Okay, you are here in COP23. As uh, African Local Authority, what is your expectation on this uh, big conference? Uh, my expectation in this conference is to be abreast with the innovations and interventions and the trends of climate change. And also uh, get into relevant networks that we can tap into as Africans as East Africans to journey together to have sustainable usage of natural resources and also make sure that the journey of environmental protection and climate change is owned by all local people. Okay, in your municipality, what is the main challenge in the fight against climate change? Uh, the, one of the main challenges is, is, of course, on waste management. We are trying our level best to have a clean environment, but then we've not yet generated uh, solutions to using the generated waste to have it uh, have commercial use such that it is not a danger to uh, the swamps and the wetlands neighboring our dumping site and landfill. So that is one of our basic challenge. And of course, as a country, Uganda, the other challenge we are faced with is wetland reclamation and misuse of the wetland. And also, as a network surrounding Lake Victoria, one other critical challenge is pollution of Lake Victoria and misuse of the lake resources via overfishing and via using wrong technologies in fishing. Uh, people are using chemicals to uh, fish. So those are some of the critical challenges we are faced with. Okay, the last question. Uh, UCLG Africa and Energy 2015 will present a report on territorialization of NDCs. In your opinion, how this report can help you as local authority to understand the main goals, the main challenge to achieve your NDCs in the national level? At the national level, it is critical that UCLG, through its network, empowers local leaders with the relevant knowledge, with the relevant capacity to always have uh, programs and initiatives relating to uh, climate change. Once an initiative is owned at the local level, then the deal is done. If any initiative is at national and global level, then we are heading for danger. So the journey ends with the ordinary person comprehending the concept, appreciating the challenges at hand, and owning up the need to save nature, the need to have uh, positive trends in as far as climate change is concerned. As I conclude, I could say we inherited this world from our ancestors, but then we borrowed it from the future generation. So we've got to hand over a world that is livable, that is friendly, that is not a danger to human nature. Thank you.